Hello, honeys. Welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. I have something cool for you today. I think you're going to like it. My guides wanted me to get a little more whimsical and yet serious. And that has to do with your guides. So we have angelic messages. And we have your fairy guides. Your elementals that tend to be around you and you don't even know it. Um, they are energetic. They are of Gaia. And they are brought in by your own soul. Um, sometimes they can be like, you know, spirit guides. And so they love you. This is not mischief. So we're going to do a quick reading for you. And before I do, I would like to remind you, I have an Etsy shop. It's spiritual products for spiritual people. And the reason I made it is because I'm a Reiki master. Uh, and I use that in everything I do as much as I can. And that is learning how to shift energetic energy and the energy associated with your body and your environment. So I created three different, actually I have four, but one of them's not up. I have an Akashic salt bath um, that you can take for on your fourth step. Your first step would be to get the... Um, Attract love naturally. Dare to love. To str uh, my labels are kind of wonky, sorry. Um, this is mine, though. This is for, um, created by, let's see, for love, abundance, and positive energy. 11 11 a bottle, and $5 for refills. Let me show you. Then I have created little refill bottles that are only $5 to refill. Or you can just put this little, use this with like three or four drops in a diffuser. $5, pretty cheap. And I have whole kits. Then I have clear negative energy, which is absolutely powerful. Well, this label says clear black magic and spells. Same difference. I changed the label on some of them. So this here is a kit that will help you clear your home, your space, protect your auric field in a very intense way. And it comes with a mantra that tells you what to say. Then we have the best one of all. My first oil I ever created with Archangel Metatron's instructions. Pure. I spray it on everything. I shake it up good. It's got all natural oils in water. High pH water for sacred healing practices any kind. Let me do it on my, and that also comes with a beautiful refill. Well, it doesn't come with it. You order the refills, but let me do my sanctification before I read this for you real quick. My loves, you are so loved and yet we're all feeling so separated. That's the intention of the environment, but that's not, we don't have to stay separated. Don't let it go to your head, you know. Give me a second. Hmm. Well, let's just jump in. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to use my bowls because I always do. This one to clear negative energy. Now I'm allowing it in. Calling on Divine Archangel Raphael. Our loving energies, fairies, and angels that serve us as human beings on this planet, centering us. Mindset that is open, not in bondage, knows itself, willing to make changes, open our hearts, seek truth, speak truth, find love everywhere we are, and attract the right beings into our life. Thank 
you, Spirit, for love, for sound, for healing, for guidance. Thank you that you love us even when we didn't feel lovable and brought us something we needed to get us through things, uncomfortable things, impossible things. I believe that when you accept Christ in your heart, now this is just me, the Christ at heart. They always talk about Christ and Christ and Christ. And, but I'm going to say right here and now as a minister, you can't have a Christ at heart without Christ. Archangel Michael, we need your presence right now. I'd like to be able to tap into this without interference. I thank you. Bless the ones who are listening. Okay, this cute little message I wanted to bring to you. I say cute because, well... We're all cute. <laughs> Don't care what the hell anybody says about, about you. Let me have a quick sip. <clears throat> Spirit is extremely good to us, and we're going to appreciate it. So I brought, I'm going to tell you what this is about, okay? <clears throat> the energies that's provided by the Lenormans on this reading are very strong. This is about your faith. This is about being at the crossroads. This is about telling your truth. This is about coming clean. This is about cleaning your body. This is about talking to ancestors. This is about eating healthy, natural foods and medicines. And this is about being grounded. And this is seven of cups means that you have a choice. It's your choice, right? These little birds in the tree represent ancestors. You're supposed to be stars. Let me get my camera right. I'm not sure I like this. Hold on. Oh, God, this crazy. You guys are stars. Your guys want you to... Oh, hold on. I have this really crazy light. Okay, you guys are stars. Here we go. Is this game phone ever going to charge? And so um, the idea for you is to be in this position where... Um, even though you have a past, even though you have a lot of memories, even though your heart, some of you left your heart behind, reclaim it now. Again, you have seven, and then you have this newness representing your goal. Six is your uh, is the number of love, reciprocity, peace of mind, um, equality, and yet here you are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shining stars, being guided by ancestors' guides, um, watching the details. They, the guides want to say to you, pay attention to the little things. You're not. Um, and, and it's okay. You need time to do this. So the message is from the angels. This is, I was going to take a picture of this, but these are, these are the cards that came out. And this is, um, I'm going to use this as the theme. This is a water energy, emotional energy. This is Angel Har Hab Habiel. Now I want to talk about that, okay? Looks like this man's walking away from her. You see it? Walking away. I don't know. She looks okay, though. Chill, her. Chill out. Look at her face. She's like, well, that was the right thing to do. Or maybe he just proposed and walked away. Male or female, doesn't matter. So Proverbs says, uh, 2121, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Let's see what Javiel's about. Let me find my book. Well, sorry, guys. I got to get my books out. <clears throat> One moment. She's number 10, so she's at the end. She seems to be content with whatever's ended. Ah, uh, ah, okay. <clears throat> the fairies and the angels want to talk to you about loyalty. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't understand. Okay, Habia lives in the first heaven. Looks after Monday, the day of the moon. Her task is to help people find the necessary trust and openness to commit to each other. Consequently, she's sometimes referred to as an angel of love. She says that you've drawn this card 
because you're finding it hard to handle your emotions and feelings. There may be a fear or a change or a commitment. You need courage to open yourself up to others and express the inner you. And it can sometimes be hard to be loyal too. Your loyalty can be tested in the coming weeks. All right. Now the fairy message is, here's your motivation card. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been just thinking about, they say go ahead and do it. That's uh, their message. It's going to be a quick reading. I'm not going to go very, very deep. And the reason for that is time. All right. Love you. Please hit the like button for me. I appreciate it. So where are you? Let's look. Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let me see what you're doing. What's the supportive energy on the direction that you're taking? What's the message for the collective, please? From the fairies and the angels and the guides. What's the collective message? Going round and round and round and round. I knew it. Now you have to go by the book. And doing everything by the book? No more, you guys. Apparently, something has disturbed the forest. Yeah, one more, please. And you need regeneration. You need trust. You need to open up. Archangel Samuel, I call you into the presence of those who are lonely, those who are afraid, those who have not committed, those who don't know how to commit. We pray that you come in. Father, send our Samuel into their presence and heal relationships, heal their hearts, heal their faith about love, and bring them the peace that surpasses understanding. All right. Archangel messages for my loves. I'm getting ready to do my Saturday morning live. And this has been sitting on my table waiting for this message to come out. Letting spirit ruminate in my soul. All right. Archangels, who is here for this message about motivation, about loyalty? Hmm. People are going through a life review at this time. Archangel Jeremy, I'll take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So if you're unbalanced um, in emotions, you go to the tree of life, you drop down, you ask your higher God, your, the person you talk to is source, I call him God, and, and you ask them to fill your heart with trust, show you what you need to know. Sometimes you have to go to the base of the tree and even though it's dead, you have to revive it. It's your job. You have the power and you have help with your guides to do so. I did it. It's called soul retrieval. Go do it. You have to get gutsy and deal with it. You've been crying all this time. You might as well cry for your salvation. Cry for your healing. Cry for your 100%. Right? Here goes. Divine order is at play. Archangel Raguel. Everything's how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Well, there is some wisdom for sure. Um, so you've gotten that part of the reading. Let's take a look. The healing fairies. Fairies, what is your message, please, to the collective in love? Self-reliance. You're going to have to do it for yourself. Nobody can go into your heart but God. Even the devil can't see what you, what, the devil cannot read your heart. The energies outside of you only know what you do and what you say and your patterns, period, point blank. But they cannot read your heart, only the Almighty knows your heart. You have a new opportunity arising for you. Yes. So, get busy, get motivated and taking care of yourself, ending things, loving yourself, and raising your standards. If you need help, I'm here to help you. All right, let's take a look at what the archangels are saying. The oracles are saying as about your future. And we'll look at one more. Better yet, let me do the Brian Froud cards first. Brian Froud fairies. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the love. Mm -hmm. Whoa, they're slippery. Presence. 
apologize if my camera bounces. I'm trying to figure out how to prevent that. Brian Frog, message for the collective, please, in love. Slippery deck. Wow, it's trippy. There it is. Friends, the friends, the friends. Hmm, number 46 is 10. That's the same thing as her number, 10. Let's see what the message is. <sighs> Love is great. It's a healer card. That's a healer card. The song of healing is present everywhere. And like the other aspects of the great song of ecstasis, which is a different word for ecstasy, he's without limit. Healing can seem so complex as we dig our way through all our blocks and resistances and old stuff. But in the end, it is simply letting go and opening up. Please see. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Keep the essential simplicity of the process in mind. Um, <clears throat> this is about both giving and receiving because you cannot truly and freely give without receiving as well. Healing is something that flows through us, not from us. And as such, we're inevitably affected by its passage. Drawing this card tells us both a need and an opportunity for healing ourselves and perhaps others as well, which is the way I went. As Warren, one of my teachers, said, healing is not something you do, it's something you are. Aho. Hmm. Gotta have that water. That's amazing, you guys. What a great reading. Here we go. Oracle of Angels. What is your message for our loves? You have to believe in your dreams. There you go again. Number 44. Believe in your dreams. Dang. You know, you are the, you are the center, centrifuge of the energy that can be utilized um, to bring these things into action. Let's have a romance message for you. Give me one, please, Spirit. Show me for this message. <sighs> Loved ones. Be of good charm. Be of good cheer. Be of good mindset. Be good. Be good to you. You, you, you. Other people will know it. You like that. Get your boundaries. Get your self-respect. Get yourself back online. And get busy loving. Okay. It looks like many of you are learning. Um, you have passion. You have passion. And you have staying optimistic about your love life. Very nice. Let's see what Tarot says. Then I'm going to make some more coffee and go live. Who loves you, baby? Be sure to go to my Etsy shop and order my products. You're going to love them. Why? Every single thing that goes out my door is self-created by me or brought. I bought it for you and... Gave you a huge discount. All of it's very, very pure. It is all, it has Reiki um, empowerment for what it is intended for. If, the, if you're buying the Attract Love, oh my God, it's so lovely. Um, it's, if you buy that one, I have super powered it with a mantra and a blessing and, and healing energy for you. Let me see, what are the messages here, please? Past, present, future. Messages for the collective. Past, present, future. The past. Of course it's a past. That is always a past card. Six of Cups. <clears throat> you're looking back. You're comparing now with then. You're looking forward. You must remember yourself in the past that was actually happy. Spirit Guides. Present. Present. Weighing out your options, looking at things, having choices, and being a solid, grounded 
individual. Do something. You've been working to keep your balance and the future. <clears throat> Education teacher, becoming a teacher, becoming an educator, be helping people with what you've learned, giving back to the universe. The guides want you to be wise. They want you to understand you may actually be approached by someone or seek someone out who can help you understand. Last card. Temperance. Very powerful. Very powerful. This is where you believe what you say, you say what you believe, you clear the shit out, you start, excuse the language, you clear out all the bad, bad stuff that's been hanging around in your soul, you let it go, you ask for help, you get the balance, and you, angels come in to guide you into keeping yourself high vibrational but balanced not accepting what is not acceptable anymore to your individual soul being patient while you work through things and being self-loving for god's sake you know i think a lot of people don't know i think they do but they don't want to talk about it so they they ask for help and i'm here to help you uh, so you can look in the box below if you need any help from me I'll do what I can, um, or in my Etsy shop as well, you can order readings. I have one that's very deep and thorough. I've got two of them. The, I do one that's a life path reading, but it covers so much in your life. Career, finance, health, past life, present life, future, divine guides, healing. The uh, uh, Oh, my God. There's so much to it. And a Mayan oracle as well as your horoscope. There's so much to it. So whatever you want to do, I love you. Thank you for being here. You are wonderful. And I must take my angels. <laughs>